class is in session. The professor is in what's happening, y'all. Uh, let me show you how to defeat uh, the rock uh, in uh, the hell mode uh, of this week's uh, tour. It is this one right here, the birthday battleground king of kings. So it can be done. Um, you're going to need a five-star gold Ken Shamrock to do it. The, the striker one um, I don't think is going to be powerful uh, enough uh, to do uh, do. You're just not going to have enough life, I don't think, to, to get it done. That's why you need a five-star gold. Uh, and also, this one will allow you to at least run a few subs, especially because the rock has a huge defensive build. So I do have a strap on this shamrock, um, and I've put Fury 2s on him, um, and I haven't unlocked enough of it. Um, and, and that's going to be important to help kick out, but as I said, he's going to have a lot of defensive medals on him, so it's going to be difficult to get a kick out, especially when he hits for a million plus. So you're going to want to go with a uh, double green sub move set, along with the belly to belly throw to make botch gems into green gems. <clears throat> and so the submission move is going to do 50% more damage with angle, but you can actually use uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. He has a similar 50 for any uh, sub. Uh, you're going to want your submission moves to last more turns, so that's where Bray Wyatt's going to come in. Um, and then you're going to use, uh, for our coaches, um, we're going to use uh, Bruno as well as uh, Benjamin. And so with that, what we're going to hope to do is you can see we're going to get seven and eight turns on our subs and they're going to hit for a couple of million each, but more or less, we're going to have to get lucky and we're going to have to use some props. So you're going to have to bring props for this one. You know, so for me, I brought the chosen one. So we're going to choose to make green gems and that's going to help load our green gems, but also to kick out if he gets a big shot pin. Uh, the Shango Curse you're going to use to knock down one of his MP moves, uh, his red MP moves. Uh, one of them adds 55% more yellow gem damage, and that's every, that's 2 MP. Uh, the Trap Gem goes off every turn, so that's the one that's going to kill us. Uh, and then Show of Hearts to boost up um, our, our moves in case we need them. So let's give her a shot. Um, this is my fourth time recording this video, so I've wasted a lot of props, but I want to show you that it actually can be done. So not a great board uh, to begin with, but we'll do our best with it. So more often than not, um, <clears throat> I would rather use this on the first turn, the chosen one, and I'm going to try to make two, three matches. So I'm going to make one here, and I'll make one there, and just hope we don't cascade so I can get... There we go, into my subs uh, right away. So I'm going to hit the black one first. And hopefully, and we build up our black move. And then we just wait for his turn. So the rock on each of his turn is going to have that 1 MP trap gem move. It's going to put 15 trap gems down. And he's going to make 1 by 3 rows like that into yellow. 1, 2... And that time wasn't bad, only 200,000. It didn't cascade me too terribly. And so what I want to do is this move right here, this 2 MP move, we want to make sure that that doesn't go off because that's going to add more damage and make kick out almost impossible. That 55% yellow gem damage. The purple move is just an annoyance move. It's going to get extra for every trap gem on the board. So we actually want to avoid losing a whole bunch of health for no reason. And so we hopefully uh, enough... Uh, botch gems stay on the board after this that so we've covered enough of his trap gems and that the botch gems stay after his next set of traps so that we can reload our green gems without having to waste a bunch of props but oh that wasn't too bad either so we got lucky on two two of his moves so far all right so if we run this move which we can it's actually going to give us zero matches just make those green uh, and so we have two choices now, because uh, he's going to get to go off on all three of his moves next turn. So it's props again. So we can choose, how much do we need? We need six. So two props will get the black um, submission. Three props would get this one going. Or two, six match. So two, three match would also help in this situation. So I'm going to use another one of these show of hearts. And I'm going to try to not cascade again. Do a six match. Beautiful. Now, next turn, as you can see, this one is ready to go. And this one 
will be ready next turn. And so we're just going to have to play this game again. Hopefully he doesn't break with the, his trap gems all of my sub gems. I need to make sure that he the subs last until the very end. That is key here. We need to drain all of his health down. So good. He's going to put traps, and here comes another cascade. There's only... Ooh, that was a bad line break to take because now we're going to get hit with a big one now. Yikes. So pretty much all of his trap gems went off and we just ate a million. Uh, wow, that was a big one to hit. So let's cascade and bring this down. Two, three. So you can see that with just that big of a hit, even when I had full health, it was almost impossible for me to break out of uh, because of his defensive gems. Uh, and next turn, his moves are going to go off again. So let's hit our sub. We are officially two subs after this one away from winning. So let's hope that we can keep some botches on the board, unlike last time. And that his cascade here doesn't just knock us out. Good. Didn't get a cascade at all. All right. So if we hit this move, this black move, we are going to make... One, two, and then those will drop. So we will get six, and that hopefully it doesn't cascade into any more. So, all right, fingers crossed, Joe. And it doesn't. Good. And so that actually worked out well. And the last time I tried to video this, it cascaded, ended my turn. He hit me with a 1.8 million <laughs> trap gem hit. All right, so we got back-to-back -back, uh, subs coming again. So we're going to hit one. Hopefully he doesn't hit all of his trap gems and continue to destroy. And just like that. So that was the worst-case scenario. Not one MP went down. And now he's going to get a free shot at us. And that's the danger of his trap gems as well, right? That we cascade into something like this. And so instead of instead of him losing all of his things, his traps, we have to play a different type of defense. All right. Um, we need to get 600,000 out of this. Ooh, we are not in good shape of getting out of this pin. So this is where the chosen one is going to be our friend. So we are going to put three of these down. And the reason I took a swipe there before was one, to make sure that I could kick out of this or if I needed help kicking out of this, but also to get more green gems on the board. And so now those five right there kick me out of this. And unfortunately, if that last sub was more turns, we would have won. Because now this sub will not be at eight turns enough to completely drain them. And so we're going to have to eat one more turn see that was 500k left and here's where he's going to beat us uh, 400,000 might be able to kick out of that fingers crossed you know one two we got out of it all right so our options now if we wanted to would be to we just need to get to the one more sub so we can if we hit that we're going to take a chance that we don't cascade but we're going to get one green match right there we're going to use one show of hearts right there and so i'm not going to take the chance uh i'll use one more choose green maybe no you know i'm not going to take the chance because I want this match over. I'm gonna use one more show of hearts. This one has a less less chance of me losing. As we saw, the black gems can be broken if he has enough other things on the board. This time we will not take that chance. We will make sure that he dies. So that's how you're gonna beat the rock on hell mode. It is possible, it's gonna take props. You're gonna to have to make sure that you have the right props in which uh, to do it. And if my phone stopped bugging, this would actually look a little bit better. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Those things really help me out when you do so. Um, and please let me know in the comments if you were able to beat them uh, as well. Professor out.